Sri Lanka's new Prime Minister announced on Monday that the crisis was down to its last day of petrol as the country's power minister told citizens not to join the lengthy fuel queues that has galvanized weeks of anti-government protest. Newly appointed Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe said in an address to the nation that the country urgently needed $75 million in foreign exchange to pay for essential imports. At the moment, we only have petrol stocks for a single day. The next couple of months will be the most difficult ones of our lives. We must prepare ourselves to make some sacrifices and face the challenges of this period. Sri Lanka currently faces a budget deficit of 6.8 billion, or 13% of their GDP. The crisis led to widespread protests against President Gotabaya Rajapaksa and his family, triggering in the resignation of his elder brother Mahinda as Prime Minister last week after fighting between government supporters and protesters that have killed nine people and wounded 300. In response to the crisis, Wickram Rasinghe said the country will print more money and proposed to prioritize Sri Lanka's flagship airline to keep the economy afloat, through the conceded that inflation may worsen in the short term. In his address on Thursday, he vowed to build a nation without queues for kerosene, gas and fuel, a nation with plentiful resources.